Okay, so first off, I'm using this mic stand with the recorder, um, shooting with a Canon, an old camera. This is the EOS T4i. This is my first camera. And I have on here a wide angle Tokina lens, which is a 11 millimeter, 16 millimeters. I have it set on 15 millimeters. I have it manually focused, set on the infinity mark. And so this is a crop factor camera. And what you do, it's 1.6 crop factor. So you multiply that by the focal length. So 15 times 1.6 gives you 24 millimeters. We're going to demonstrate in this video how to uh, do panning shots. So with the technique of panning, first I go over the camera settings. You want a slow shutter speed. I am at 1 30th of a second. At f16, this will help uh, create a sharp image with a deep depth of field, which makes panning shots easier. Also, you don't have to set it to autofocus if you manually focus the lens on infinity and you know what the hypofocal distance is. As long as the cars aren't closer than the minimum focus distance based on... So that's 10 feet. So as long as the cars that I'm taking photos of are not closer than 10 feet, it'll automatically be in focus. Okay, so the technique you use is you want to twist at the waist while you're shooting the cars. And when the car gets in front of you, perpendicular to your lens, it's a good time to shoot. So I'm not going to shoot cars that are in this lane, only in the far lane, so they'll be in focus. Go ahead and we'll do a few more shots. That's how you do panning shots. You do have to shoot a lot of cars because not all of your photos will come out so that the vehicle is in sharp focus, but the background and the wheels are in motion.